rexes in intimus and mature cataract my best method is double rexes here first small sized rexes is made around 2 to 3 mm size liquefied cortex milked into capsulotomy opening by gentle swipes with visco cannula this followed by liquefied cortex aspirated with hydro cannula all around from back after the back sufficiently debulk second flap is raised by tangential cut with vanus and flap extended to desired sized rexes intralenticular pressure counteracted by repeatedly inflating anterior chamber with visco second method is spiral rexes this is also called onion peel capsulotomy here small central flap is raised and flap moved in a spiral fashion this spiral movement allows control movements of the flap preventing the rexes to run away here also anterior chamber repeatedly inflated with visco to contract intraventricular pressure rexis flap moved in spiral fashion to achieve a desired sized rexis envelope capsulotomy can be preferred method of choice in traumatic cataract with intumescence and weaker zonule here superior capsule entered with keratome to prevent inferior extension of capsular tear i2 preserve inferior capsular support for the placement of iol keratome entry expanded with venous scissors by tangential cuts on both sides of keratome entry followed by capsulotomy extension with capsular forceps this flap mimics envelope cover so that it named as envelope capsulotomy this is another case of a young patient with highly intumescent cataract and highly elastic capsule despite of complete centripetal forces during rexis rexis extension noted at 9 o'clock now a tangential cut parallel to iris is given with venous scissors at the site of extension flap is raised with inflating anterior chamber with visco and with capsular forceps expanded to desired size this is a case of intumescent cataract with posterior synechi and weaker zonules on attempt to pulling rexis flap inward capsular tear noted on both sides leading to a argentina flag sign a typical blue white and blue zone on both sides of the tear tangential cuts given with venous scissors and flap expanded on both sides in conclusion in mature intumescent cataracts keep your anterior chamber inflated with high molecular weight visco to contract intralenticular pressure rex is done through smaller ports to favor closed chamber maneuvers proper straining of capsule 
with air bubble increases visibility of capsule debulking of liquefied cortex is the key for successful recession into mesenchymal tract thank you